The jibs are our three triangle head sails at the front of the boat, the flying jib, the outer jib, and the inner jib. And every jib has three types of lines, a halyard, a downhaul, and the sheets. To set the jibs, first you have to release the gasket. It's the same knot on the square saw, so it's a slippery half hitch. You pull on the end and pass it through the eye, making sure to release every gasket and to tuck the gaskets out of the way of the sail. After you release all of the gaskets to make your life easier, follow the sheet to where it passes behind the stay and make sure that it's below all of the metal rings. To raise the jibs, you ease the downhauls and pull on the halyards while tending the sheets. The halyards run forward to aft from starboard to port. So the flying jib halyard is here, the outer jib halyard, and the inner jib halyard. The downhauls also run forward to aft from starboard to port. So we have the inner jib downhaul, the outer jib downhaul, and the flying jib downhaul. If the officials know where the wind is going to be coming from when we set the sails, you can ask them in advance, and when you're releasing the gaskets, pass the corner of the sail with the sheet that will be tighter to the opposite side of where the wind is coming from. This will keep you from having to pull on the sheet as much. This is the foresail. The foresail is a gaff sail, which means that to set it, we are going to pull on the halyards. First though, we need to pull on the topping lifts to raise the boom to the level of the metal collar on the main mast. With the boom raised, to set the foresail, you pull on both the throat and the peak halyards, making sure to keep the gaff even until the very last moment and making sure that the downhaul and the reef aren't fixed. At the end, you fix the halyards and then you ease the topping lifts. To sheet out the foresail, you must use the preventers and the sheet. So if it's center like this, you are going to pull one preventer and then ease the sheet and the other one. If it's already sheeted out to one side, you are going to very carefully ease the side that's already tight, pull on the other preventer and pull and then ease the sheet. A trick, when you are sheeting out the foresail, you want to give the job of easing the preventer to someone you can trust, or if there aren't enough participants, do it yourself. When we're in port, we disconnect the preventer from here and hook it here to keep it out of the way. To keep the downhaul out of the way of the foresail, you can flake it in the aft shrouds. This keeps it secure, but if you forget to change it when you sheet out, it comes undone. This is the mainsail. The mainsail is a gaff sail, it's a fore and aft sail, and it is the same as the foresail except for its reefs and for its running backstays. One of the two main differences between the mainsail and the foresail is the reef. Instead of tying one of the reefs around the peak of the boom, because there's more sail area, the mainsail has a block so you have to pull it and make it off here. The second difference between the foresail and the mainsail is the running backstays. When you sheet out to one direction, in order to be able to sheet out past the corner of the boat, you must disconnect the running backstay on that side. By disconnecting this hook and attaching it to the block on the aft shrouds with the white and red rope on it. Remember to not disconnect both at the same time. Welcome to the square sails. The square sails are our top sail and course sail, and the first step to set them is to release all of the gaskets.
Bunts and clues are lines that hold the square sails to the yards, while reefs hold the sides to the yard arms. After you release the gaskets, you must release bunts, clues, and reefs. After you ease bunts, clues, and reefs, to set the topsail, you must pull on the sheets to bring the corner of the sails out. These are the topsail sheets, and you should have two participants on each one to sweat. When setting the course sail, you still ease bunts, clues, and reefs, but your sheets are on the aft shrouds. The sheets are the last step for setting the course, but for the top sail, we have to pull on the halyards. We always start on starboard, and you'll need multiple participants sweating and tailing. You pull the starboard halyard as much as possible, or until you can touch the block while standing on deck, then you come to the port halyard or stretcher to pull the yard the last little bit up. 